What's going on everyone? My name is Connor Curtis, bringing you guys another video here today. And every single day for the last 30 days, I did Cristiano Ronaldo's at-home leg workout, and these are the results. What a strike. Look at those muscles. Look at that. He's now, Ronaldo's known for his crazy physique, especially his legs. They're so explosive. Just his ability to jump is on par with NBA players. Like, it's absolutely insane how high that man can jump. Like, but he's not only known for that, he's also known for just how much he trains, how dedicated he is, all those different things. Ronaldo never started out with a big, strong, muscular base. Like, he was always pretty skinny. And there was a quote from him at 11 years old that says, it's true he was skinny, had no muscle. So I made a decision at 11 years old. I knew that I had a lot of talent, but I decided that I was gonna work harder than everybody else. You know, to have that desire at 11 years old is just insane in itself. And I don't think that's, that dedication has wavered once in the last 24 years, pretty much. It's where that mindset kind of started and it all began. You know, every, every footballer has a story about Ronaldo and about how dedicated he is, whether it be different teammates telling about how he's just always there before training, after training, just, he's just that type of guy. So, to kind of mimic that dedication, I wanted to, instead of just, you know, working out, doing Ronaldo's leg workout for a day, I wanted to put it to the test, do it every single day for an entire month, and then just kind of see the results I can get from it. For the past couple of months, since uh, the world climate at the moment, every, a lot of footballers have been posting, you know, their workouts and little snippets here and there of their home workouts, which is awesome. Ronaldo recently, as last week, actually just put up this seven exercises. I don't think that that's the best video because <laughs> It literally just shows seven exercises, just doing push-ups, sit-ups, squats, lunges, blah, blah, blah. You know, does Ronaldo really train like that to get the physique he does? Probably not. So what I've done is pretty much try to get all the different little clips of Ronaldo doing different exercises, put them all into one workout, kind of make them kind of have a good flow and make it into a proper workout. Cause you know, I'm sure we would all love to see, you know, Ronaldo or just any football teams in, gy in gym workouts, something like that. Cause you know, that would be awesome. I'm gonna go into detail now about all the different exercises. This, you don't need equipment. You can use equipment if you have it, of course. You can use resistance bands, kettlebells, dumbbells, whatever you guys have, or you can just use your own body weight and still it's much better than not doing any exercise at all. So I'm gonna go through now and explain in two minutes all the different exercises. First is squats. Now we wanna do three times 12 squats and they can be weighted, resisted, or just normal depending on what you've got. You know, it's a pretty basic exercise and it's something that Ronaldo's filmed doing a lot throughout his career. Then because we can't really go heavy with a big barbell back squat, I like to put in some single leg squats and do three times eight of those. Now me, I don't have the best form. You can see my back is pretty arched. I don't have enough mobility in my ankles and calves, but I'm working on it. I like to do kind of box ones. So you can choose between going pistol or you can do box ones three times eight. Then. To finish the squats off, I like to do just some squat jumps, trying to improve that explosiveness. Nothing too difficult here, squat jumps. And I like to just do two sets of six. Now going into split squats, I can't find any image of him actually doing a split squat, but I know for a fact he would have done it. It's one of the most important exercises for any footballer, any person trying to increase their explosiveness. It's just like a staple of any footballer's training program three times eight on each leg. Again, they can be weighted, normal, and finishing with some kind of a plyometric ver variation of it, two times six. Next, we've got RDLs. These are three times 12. Ronaldo, I think, is prone to doing the most hamstring work out of any footballer. Like, he's always on that hamstring curling machine. We don't have the luxury right now to be in the gym and using those, so RDLs are really good. You can also do Nordics and kind of swap it out for that. But you can do single leg, two leg, whichever you feel comfortable with. The next category is core and special. These are the things I like to just do all of them. He loves working the kind of minor muscles like adductor, really strengthens them a lot with the adductor slide. If you guys can't do that exercise properly, then you can go across and you can do a adductor kind of plank. To really hone in on the strength in your quads, I like to do a resisted leg extension that was done pretty recently by Ronaldo. You really feel the burn, especially after you've already, already done all the other squat work. Then just any core you guys like. You can copy him. There's so many, so many videos around Ronaldo doing core, you know, his abs are famous. So, so yeah, just probably like five to 10 minutes core just to finish it off. You're probably thinking, yeah, core, core isn't legs, but you know, it's Ronaldo. Every day is abs day. <laughs> So this is my Notion account here. This is where I log all my kind of workouts and things like that. I haven't just done legs. I don't log it all the time, but sometimes I forget. But you can see here that there are, much, there are a lot of other workouts that I was doing at a similar time. 
But if we have a look at these, these are just the days I, these are all the Ronaldo workout days. So if we just click on one, we can see what I did that day. It took 33 minutes. It was probably around the 30 minute mark, most of these. It was hard to keep a super high intensity as I was kind of, kind of overloading my muscles at all at one time doing every single day. And then if we have a look here, let's see this one. Again, it's kind of switched around. Just did some resistive ones, single leg, squat jump with kettlebell. You kind of get the idea. So I just kind of picked one from each and that's the, what I did for the day. So now getting into the results, this is where things get kind of exciting. I feel really good about the results that I've seen. Firstly, we can have a look at kind of my muscularity. I feel like that has been really interesting. You can see this picture of Ronaldo here, legs very defined. And the main muscle in the middle here is something that I never really had. This is when I started, I didn't really have any kind of definition in that middle muscle at all, let alone on the outer regions. And then after 30 days, this is what kind of looked like. That was raised so much. So I was very, very surprised in that about how much that kind of grew, especially in such a sh short period of time. I wasn't expecting to see too much muscularity change, but to me, that was really something. Like I was very impressed with that. And I feel like usually you don't see things that quick, but I'm very happy. Now onto my favorite thing. The most, the most amazing thing I found from this entire experience of doing it every single day. Every single morning I measure my HRV on my phone and this is where I saw just some crazy progress in me physiologically and the toll it kind of took on my body. So if we go and have a look on here, check my HRV, go into insight, training load analysis. This is kind of how well my body's adapting to training, if that makes sense. Now you can see here that my readiness to perform was not very high for a majority of the time and it kind of peaked as really bad and then kind of gradually came back to kind of baseline and me being very ready to perform. And then my favorite part is this, injury risk. So injury risk, and I'm sure a lot of people are going, oh wow, like shouldn't do this, overtrain, 30 days is a lot, blah, blah, blah. It's true. I don't keep the same amount of energy and things like that for every single workout, but I do try put as much effort in as I can. But have a look at this injury risk, just decrease over time. So from the first workout that I did, my body was like kind of in shock. I hadn't done legs in a while, especially because I hadn't done a leg workout since uh, the gym's closed like a month ago. So getting back into doing a leg workout, you can see every day it kind of slowly decreased, still high, still very high, still a lot of risk. But because I'm not doing a lot of training with my club and things like that, I felt like that I can get away with it. And you can see it had completely down to steady and that it's now my optimal load doing it every day. My legs is used to it, my body is used to it, and I'm my physiological response to it is just neutral and that it's normal. That to me just shows how insane our bodies are and how much more we are capable of and how much more we can do than what we think we can. But that's pretty much the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys think I should do another video like this, I kind of want to do a compilation of, you know, every, all the other footballers is like at home workouts and just put it into one mega one. Be sure to leave a comment and just, you know, tell me how's it going. Also, thanks for 600 subscribers. You know, it means the world. If I can reach just one person, that makes me very, very happy. And as always, persistence is key. And Kodakos out.